friends, Denise here. Uh, so a few days ago, we found out that our high school mission trip was canceled. Um, two days ago, we found out that Pennsylvania schools are closed for the year. That means for a lot of you, uh, things that you were looking forward to are canceled. Getting back to see your friends in school won't happen until the fall now. For some of you, this is great news. For others, it is crushing. No matter how you're feeling, we're all in a state of grief over what we thought these past and these few months would look like. Today is Good Friday. It's the day we remember Jesus dying on the cross. It's a sad day uh, because of what Jesus went through. As we think about the disciples and his family being heartbroken and grieving over the loss of their teacher and friend. But what they don't know and what we have the advantage of knowing is that the story doesn't end there. Just three days later, they will see Jesus again. He will rise from the grave and he will talk to them and they will be filled with unimaginable joy. Today uh, and maybe in the weeks to come, this all stinks for us. We are losing so much, so many things that we thought we were going to look forward to. But Easter is right around the corner. Being able to gather, go to school, go on trips, be in restaurants, all of that is coming. Today, just like the disciples, this day stinks. The next few days and weeks stink. But there's hope. There's resurrection in our future. And so today, I hope that we will spend some time telling Jesus how much this stinks. Remembering that Jesus was human, he knew grief and sadness, just like we do. And then I hope that we will spend some time looking forward, trusting God to be with us in the grief, in the hope, in the joy, in the loneliness, and in the excitement. This is Good Friday, and it means more now than it has uh, in my lifetime. Um, and so my prayer is that today would be a day that we would remember Jesus and his sacrifice and remember that there is hope and there is a future. I'm sharing the link of a sermon that I love to listen to every, every, uh, every Good Friday. I think it sums up where we are today and the hope that we have in the future. I'm praying for you and I'm praying that uh, as you process what we have lost, that there will be things that you can uh, name that we have gained. So I'm praying for you, my friends, and um, happy Good Friday.